Sparks, brand ambassador for Miners Cosmetics. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to create the Kendall Jenner look. Now she was in Cannes recently looking absolutely stunning and she had this lovely kind of really natural sort of bronzed makeup look which is such a great one for holiday season. When it's hot and you're on the beach or you're walking around in the sun you don't want to wear anything that's too heavy. So I'm going to show you how to recreate a similar look that will be great for your holidays. So to start then I'm going to use the Fresh Faced Foundation and I'm using the shade Buff. I'm just going to apply this with a brush and literally buff it into the face. This is just going to help give a really lovely airbrushed finished look. But you can use a foundation brush, um, you can use your fingertips or a sponge, whatever you prefer. When the sun is shining more than ever, you need to make sure that you don't look too shiny. And we're gonna now use the Fresh Faced Pressed Powder, and we're using the shade Warm Honey. This is such an important step after you've put on your foundation. If you really want to lock it in and make sure it lasts longer, always set it with some pressed powder. Just a light dusting. Use a really nice fluffy brush and just do a light dusting, paying particular attention to the T-zone area. That's where you're going to tend to see most of the shine. So next I'm going to take the eyeshadow trio palette in Goddess. This is a really nice mix of beige and chocolate browns that's really gonna suit my skin tones. So starting with the middle color, the paler shade, I'm just gonna to apply to the lid. This palette's got a really, really subtle hint of shimmer. So again, really pretty for holidays. Next, I'm going to add the darker shade and I'm going to add this to the outer corners of the eye and also blend into the socket line as well. Make sure the eyeshadow is really blended together well by using a fluffy brush in really light circular movements. Make sure when you hold your brush you hold it near the end so you don't have too much precision. You really just kind of want the eyeshadow to blend into one another seamlessly so you don't go from light to dark. Then using a flat angled brush, I'm actually going to take the darker shade of eyeshadow and I'm actually going to use the eyeshadow, push it into the roots of the lashes to kind of create a little bit of a, an eye line but without using a traditional eyeliner. This is really nice, it's a lot easier to use than an eyeliner pencil and when you're in a hurry it's really good, it's quite quick. So now we're finished with the brown eyeshadow, I've just got a really quick tip for you. I've actually used some of the eyeshadow solo in Luna with a tiny brush. I've just taken a tiny little bit and put it in the inner corner of the eye, just in the tear duct area. And also this makes a great highlighter. So you can also just take a tiny bit there and just blend it to the brow bone. This helps to give a really lovely arch to the eyebrow. It's a really youthful and lifted look. But you want to blend it in really well. You don't want it to look too obvious, so make sure you use your fingertips or a brush to really buff that in. Mm -hmm. 
So I've curled the eyelashes. That really is worth taking the time to do that step because it will really help open up the eyes. Then next I'm going to apply the brand new Volumizing Maxi Mascara. Love the bright pink packaging. Definitely won't get lost in your handbag. It's a really nice wand as well. It's really going to coat every lash. When I apply mascara, I always think it's helpful just to lift this area here, lift up the eyelids slightly so you can really get into the root of the lashes. You want to start as far down as possible and just make sure you coat every lash. That's going to give you the best kind of look. Just zigzag the wand back and forth. You can apply several coats and this really isn't going to clump, but it's going to give those really lovely volumized lashes. So I've coated both the top and bottom lashes with the mascara and if you want to get your hands on this you can just click here. Now we've finished the eyes, just going to add a little bit more of a glow um, to the face by using the blusher brick in pink. This is great because it's a lovely three different shades you sweep together and it's a really lovely healthy kind of glow to the cheeks. So when you apply your blusher you want to apply to the apples of the cheeks and then take it up towards the hairline just above the ear. If you are more mature don't put the blusher too low down because that's actually quite aging. So you actually want to start a little bit higher up, keep it really lifted and it will give you a lovely youthful look. Smile for me. It helps if you smile, and then you know you're going to be applying it to the apples of the cheeks. Use a nice fluffy brush, swirl in all the different colours, and it brings a really pretty, summery flush to the cheeks. It stops the skin from looking flat and one dimensional. Always make sure you blend in the edges of your blusher really well, just so it looks really natural. You don't want anything that's too obvious. It just needs to look like a really pretty, healthy glow to the skin. At can, Kendall Jenner was wearing a nude lipstick. Nude lipstick is back. It's really big at the moment. I'm using the shade Hush Hush. And this is a lovely moisture, moisturising lipstick. So great for when you're on holiday and your lips can dry out a little bit in the sun. This is going to add colour but also add moisture back into the lips to keep them nice and soft as well. A quick tip, if you want to make your lipstick last all day, apply first with a lip brush, then blot with a tissue, then apply the second layer straight from the billet. That will really push the lipstick into the lips and help it be that little bit more long lasting. So there we have it, that's the finished look. Really nice for daytime, very natural. Doesn't look like you're wearing too much makeup, but does just help to just bring out those features. So now if you want to take this to the nighttime look, then by changing your lipstick colour and adding a really bright red, this will literally take you from day to night. I'm going to use this gorgeous red lipstick in Vogue, an amazing bright pillar box red colour. So just by changing your lipstick colour instantly you've gone from day to night. This is a really gorgeous red shade and it's nice when your lips 
are really bright like this just to keep the eyeshadow natural so that you don't have too much going on. It's either really bold on the eyes, softer on the lips or vice versa. I hope you found this video useful. Just remember, make sure you're following Miners Cosmetics on Twitter. And if you use the hashtag Miners Cosmetics, just tweet us with your beauty questions and we'll get back to you. Thanks so much and see you next time.